episode of Jay Leno's Garage, the car we're featuring today, 1968 Dodge Charger, about as far from stock as you could possibly get. This is a car that people just went crazy for at SEMA this year. I could barely get near the car. There was such a crowd around it. But the fascinating thing is it wasn't built by a fancy shop. It was built by a gentleman in Sweden in his garage in his spare time. He's a Volvo salesman, but I think he has a place in his heart for American cars. He and his guys did this whole thing themselves, the whole car. Well, let's meet him, Johan Eriksson. Johan, come on in. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. First time in America? No, I have been there. Oh, okay. Well, well, good. Did you find this here in the States or was it in Sweden? No, this I found in Sweden, but it was an uh, old race car, so it was almost destroyed everything. No engine, no, nothing inside. Just right. a... And you did this yourself at home? Yeah, together with my, my friends, and uh, we have a, a team. We are together and we have worked with this for almost five years yeah. now. I guess it. Because you only have like two days of summer in Sweden, so the rest <laughs> of the time you're freezing. So yeah. you see, here in America, we just it's sunny all the time in California, and we watch Netflix at night, so we don't have this kind of uh, work ethic. <laughs> we have long winters, so we have a lot of time to do <laughs> this. Long, long, well, you've just done a beautiful job. I don't know where to start. Where would you like to start telling us about the car? I love the fact that you've sort of kept the original proportions, and it's recognizable. Yeah, yeah as a 68 Dodge Charger, but that's about it, right? Yeah, absolutely one most important thing was it, even if we are everywhere and work on it, it has to look like it, it's 68 Dodge Charger. Right. You, have, you can't take the soul from it. So that was very, very important. Well, let's start from the bottom with these wheels. Obviously about as far from stock wheels as you could get. Yeah. You made the wheels as well, yes? Yes. And, uh, you know, from the beginning, it was not meaning it will be so big. It's 24 by 15 and a half. The 24 is in the back? Yeah, and 15 and a half yeah. wide. And in the front, it's 22 by 11. We have an awful lot of Swedish guys come by the shop. Because Swedes seem to love American cars, especially American cars from the 50s and the 60s, the, the, big, yes, the big ones, that's, you know? That's, yes, extremely popular. And we have a lot of cars in Sweden, even if it was very, very little, yeah. t little land, but we have amazing much nice cars okay now American what, cars. what are we the body is basically stock well let me see it's For, it's widening from uh, yeah here it's, it's just in original stock then it's widening it out over the wheels it's about uh, 45 millimeters here right and then it's nothing here so it's right. just widening there and then uh, the the roof because we want to look it like it go fast when it's standing still right so we drop the, the roof and, and tip that down and cut the roof off so okay. it a little more look 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 a little so faster. Chop the roof a little bit. Yes. Okay. Oh, very good. 40, uh, 40 millimeters. And you did something that I love, manual transmission. You know, yes. So many people in America just put an automatic, and the fact that you built it to be a driver's car, it is six speed. Six speed. Yes. It's uh, the chassis we start under was from the. From the beginning, it's a 2006 Corvette C6. Now, see, when you say C6, people think, oh, well, it must have a Corvette engine in it. Don't tell me just now. Let's open the hood and show them what you have Excellent. in here. Right. OK. And it's very heavy because <laughs> we have done a lot of steel metal work yeah. there. All right, wow. So what do we have here? Is this a Viper motor? Yeah, it's a Viper V10 from the beginning here. Okay, yes. the V10, yeah. And uh, it's also twin turbos. We want to have a real uh, power in it. So it's how much is gas a liter in Sweden? <laughs> it's very expensive. It gets uh, three times as you have. Three times. So it would be about nine, maybe 10 or $11 a gallon. Yeah. And then with the, <laughs> the twin turbos, <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And what kind of horsepower do you know? Uh, we build the engine to, 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 to can around 1,500, but uh, now it's we, I, I think we're about 1,000. About 1,000 horsepower. Yes, okay. And obviously, we can't take it up to 15 if we put the. Yeah. And you made all these pieces here as well? Absolutely. Right. And, and even under, it's a really done intake because we take the air from the intercooler. Right. It's so much stuff here, so we take it in under the fender, into the car, and in on the back of the intake. 
And, and we beautiful put the headers. You made the headers as well. Absolutely. Wow. Everything is made by my team and, and my friends home in Sweden, so it's, it's hand, handmade, everything. Wow. And we ho also have a little stuff first funny this, because our, from the beginning we, have, we are Vikings from Sweden and we want to give them a... That's a the little head. Viking thing in there? That's a, a, the head from a dra dragon sheep. Oh, see oh I see, yes, yes, yeah. I got, yes. Okay, head of a dragon, okay. That's right, Vikings are Swedish, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Scandinavian. Yeah. Scandinavian. Yes. yes. Okay. That's I that. love the way you've kept the hood, identif I mean the front end identifiable as yeah. a 68 we, Dodge Charger. Yeah. The grill is almost exactly, we put that RTR there and we, we fix so everything will fit a little more tight. I remember the 67 Dodge Charger was just... Uh, that's a, a different one. This coronet with a fastback roof. This was the first <laughs> yeah. brand new clean sheet design. Yeah. It was a huge hit. It was in the movie Bullet. Remember yes. Steve McQueen? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he, 68, 69, 70 yeah. Charger is See, you, almost the same. It's a little different in the front and in the tail aspect. You could have outrun Steve McQueen in this car. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, let's put the hood down again. Put, yeah. put the Viking head down again. There we go. <laughs> it's all electric. Yeah. I mean, the level of workmanship is just unbelievable. This is a true show car. Just amazing. Can I open the door? Yeah, here? absolutely. Thank you for not putting these doors on it. <laughs> no, no uh, we want it to look, 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 so it still looked like a 68 Charger. It still Even looks the door like a 68 Charger. You call yourself an amateur, but as far as I'm concerned, you're a professional. I mean, I've never, this is better than most shops have done. I mean, this is amazing. And uh, everything is cut out from aluminum from Sweden. Right, right. All the mech we have there. Because I work with the steel work before and there. So I get all the aluminum free. The old guys there would love to give me the aluminum. Oh, so they get, yeah. get so, free aluminum. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. And you have a roll, full roll cage and it's all beautifully stitched. Yeah, well. every, it stitches uh, by hand. So it's he, he, the man who do the stitches, he take over 100 hours just for the stitches. We want to look at like a leather steering right, wheel. Yeah, yeah. So everyone is done hand by hand. I mean, I immediately recognize it, obviously, as a Dodge Charger. But I knew something was different, obviously, the wheels and the roof. Shuts better than the original. And this was my, when this car came out, this was my favorite thing, the racing style gas cap. Yeah. I'm glad you kept that. And like the front, the back is easily identified as a Dodge Charger. Is this a stock emblem or is that different? No, we have done this because uh, the Charger had the, the road, RT from the beginning. RT. Road and track. Road and track. But we, I want to do more racy cars, so we, 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 we do that R extra, so it be road, truck, and racing. racing. Okay, yes. very good. Now you built the car yourself, but the sponsors helped get them to America. SeaTac, which is uh, it's the battery charger we use here, it's really the only battery charger on the market. I, I yeah. bought 160. That's the best. I bought 160 of them <laughs> because I got all these vehicles here. <laughs> and because other ones would boil the battery. It, it's really, it's standard on a Ferrari and Lamborghini and Corvette and, yeah. and everybody. So they're really the best. And of course, Turtle Wax helps you also with, uh, well, it looks fantastic. Yeah, it looks yeah. Just, it's so a we do. Job. Yeah, you see the sign that we have down. Oh, you have a little truck. turtle down. Okay, right yeah. down there. The and plate. I show okay. you also inside the trunk. Yeah. But they still want, want it to look like in 68 Charger, but a little more racy. So you see, we have yeah. down a little bit under there and, and take the Well, let's exhaust. show what's in the trunk. Yeah. If you didn't think it was a show guard before, this will definitely uh, do it to you. <laughs> Uh, I would say that's a sound system, huh? Yeah, it's the sound system. And many, many say you can't have a nice sound system in an old school muscle car. Right. But I say, okay, we can, but we have to build it so it looks very, that's very right. nice. Vikings, they do whatever they want. <laughs> that's right. We want to have, because it's amazing when you're standing on big shows and play some rock and roll music, people come from everywhere. Right, right. But it has to be good, good, good sound. So when you would have this on the stand, you'd be, it, like at SEMA, it's just playing music. So what American rock and roll do you like? Who do you like? Yeah, ACDC. ACDC? Okay. Def Leppard. Def Leppard. <laughs> uh, 
and Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses, yeah. and, okay. And, uh, dire Straits. Dire Straits, all right. all the okay. time. Okay, yeah. got, got it on a loop. And you've got the American flag. Yeah, there. and we want to honor you too because... Uh, well, this, thank you, that's very kind. Yeah, because the, the, the Swedish summer or... or, or if you don't have your car, type of car there, it will be very boring. So we, it's standing here. Thanks, USA, for giving us the muscle car from the 60s. And thank you for my 1958 three-cylinder Saab. <laughs> yes. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, love my, I love my Saab. And it's a little smoke. Yeah, and it smokes, and it's, it's, yeah. got, it's got almost 56 horsepower. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, they're cult, cult uh, cars even in Sweden now. Yeah. Oh, no, they're wonderful. I love them. I yeah. love them. And then, you see, we also try, we have 21 low speakers in this, right. and we, we make them so it looked like a Chrysler Corporation Panther store. So I see that in the yeah. speaker here. Yeah. And it, it, were these the stock tail lights for with, like that? I can't remember. No, we, we want to do it like that, but little, little or, or taste. So we, you see, you put this on and it's look, you, you can see that it's done them in a yeah. machine. And we have them even there and around. So. It's go through the whole car with that. And again, I want to tell people this was done in this house, in the garage, and and all, all these companies help with you know uh, getting it here to the states, and they're very kind taking it around to the shows. These guys actually built it and paid for it themselves, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, single we, we man, have, are you? <laughs> I have a girlfriend. You have a girlfriend and, and a little <laughs> boy. Yeah. But he oh, likes. Okay. Like he this likes. It. How old's your boy? He's six. Six. Oh, six. six. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. But well, he'll, he'll be driving this soon. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, 10 years. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, and, and, well, it's uh, a beautiful and, job. And he liked when I play a little music yeah. for him. Yeah, it, it's just amazing. Yeah. So we try to have a meaning with everything. Uh, yeah. The stereo is good sound, and you see the for the f uh, fuse there, you have Moop RM. Oh, right. Yeah. And what's the big meat they have in Sweden? Is it the power meat? Is that what it's called? The power meat in Westeros is amazing big. There are about... Uh, 20,000 American cars in one town wow. like from Thursday to Sunday. That's the biggest meeting, one of uh, absolutely the biggest in Europe and, and it's very, very big even in the world. In the world. Wow, okay. Let's, uh, let's put the trunk down. But let's meet the team that helped him put it together. These are all his buddies. Come on over here, guys. These are my heroes. Gentlemen. What is your name? Lars. Lars? Jorgen. Jorgen. Otto. Otto. Joran. Joran. Adam. Adam, very nice. Well, great job, gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful Thank you. job. This is like, it, they look like the worst boy band in America, but they're actually very talented <laughs> builders. Yeah. yeah, they're amazing. They're, they are amazing. You can't, I don't put them out on anyone in the so world. So each guy specializes yes, in... Yes, absolutely. Uh, Lars with the high fee, Jürgen with the sheet metal. So you're the sheet metal guy? No. Uh, no uh, you're Carlos sheet Heim. metal. And, and beautiful. Was, was this body pretty far... I'm going to have you talk into my mic. Was this body pretty far gone? Yeah. Yes. A lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah. And your area is what? It's car audio. The hi-fi system. Oh, the hi-fi yeah, system. Yeah, okay. Hi you're, the, you're the music guy. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And Rock and roll. And you're... <laughs> 3D designing and machining. 3D designing and machining. Was there a lot of 3D printing involved here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We done the prototypes in the machine. Oh, so you did the whole car and prototype first? No, the details. In okay, very nice. And your area? I'm, I'm just think ever parts and the logistics. The logistics. Logistics. Yeah. Oh, he he fixed. He he take it here. He run 6,500 kilometers on five days with a truck on this. Wow. So okay. he's the hero to, to come to this here and see Marshall. And you're a SeaTac guy. That's right. And you, yeah. you help them get the car here and bring it to America. So thank you very much. Well, thank you for showing it on your show. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. It's, it's, just, it's just wonderful. I mean, we, there's so many. Uh, I just have Swedish guys come by here all the time. And they're real craftsmen, as you can say. These gentlemen are here. So let's, uh, well, guys, thank you very much. Let's thank you. And I just want to say we have some other friends home, too. They, co they couldn't come here, but they also have helped us with this. So, so we, but we are friends. We are an amazing team with friends who have right. done this. Now you have to help them build their cars. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, cool. Let's fire it up.
takes it to the power meet next year in Sweden? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see you there. Sometime. I gotta get to one of those things. Yeah, that'd yeah. be great fun. You can feel the heat. Good car for Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> good car to drive in the winter. Yes. Very good. You don't need any heat. Because don't need cold. a heater. Did some of the Chrysler people come by and, and compliment you on the car? Yes. Yeah. They want to buy it all the time. Even at the SEMA show, yeah. there many people want to buy it. Many people come and ask if they can buy it. Sweden is very, very popular now with yeah. American muscle cars. And I, I, now I want to go home and fix everything so we can go to the ramp fast yeah, yeah. and take it up to at least, at least 1200 horsepower. Yeah, do a couple of Viking runs. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I get, my hair is standing up. <laughs> it's amazing. First time we run this car, we go out in LA. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. This is the first time you've run it? Yeah. That's I hilarious. I ran it off from the, the SEMA. So you finish it in your garage, send it to SEMA. Yeah. This is the longest run. Yeah, absolutely the longest run. Next time, I hope I can see you in Sweden or somewhere. We want to yeah. drive it and we want to drive it and do no, some while burnout. I'm on it, I'm the first person to drive it. I want to do some burnouts with you. And we'll everybody. do some burnouts. Yes, absolutely. Swedish like burnouts, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Viking burnout. How do you say burnout in Swedish? Burnout. The same burnout. The same burnout. The same burnout. <laughs> it's the same thing. Absolutely the same thing. Well, it's just the craftsmanship. Yeah, it's, yeah. And and you thanks know, for letting me be the first person to, to drive it. Even before you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I put more miles on it than you have. the first people drive it. What's the most popular vintage American car in Sweden? Is it Chrysler? The Mopar are very, very popular, but also, you know, the, the Ford, Mustangs, yeah. and, and uh, also Mustang, yeah. uh, yeah, and, and uh, Camaro. Camaros, Camaros everywhere, yeah. Firebirds everywhere, but also old Chrysler, old Chrysler, 50, yeah, yeah. 50 old, with that, uh, that that's also with the one. fins and all, yes, absolutely, an old, old type of American car, old type, and yeah. even the, as you say, all European car, but it's much more old. This will stay in America for a while, do the show circuit, yes. then you take it home, huh? Yes. What's your next project? Have you got one? <laughs> I have worked for this, and before this, I have another Georgia 68. Also, when I take to to the US for 2011. So now I, I want to take a little easy and see what we together with my son. Maybe we do something together, my son and me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah because we, they can start doing some tractors when they are 15 years old. So. Maybe we can do something there. So we see. Yep, yep. Well, I want to thank Johan. What a thrill. Thanks so much for bringing this car all the way from uh, Sweden. It's, a, uh, it's an honor. It's, it's an, an honor, honor to be the first one to drive it. I, I, <laughs> I, I really appreciate it. Yes. And it, it's just fascinating. It's yeah. just beautiful, beautiful workmanship. It's a show car. As you can see, we just went very slowly around the bar because this is the first drive. I've driven it further than anybody. You were the first one. They literally I, finished it in his garage, asked, sent it to drove, America drove before they even drove it, and uh, brought it to SEMA. And uh, uh, to all our fans in Sweden, thank you so much. You guys have some real craftsmen there. We've had a number of Swedish builders on the show, and they just do beautiful work. So, Johan, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. And I will, I will see you at the power meet in Sweden. Yes, and, do, and then we do some burnouts. Go to do some burnouts yes. with guy. Yeah. Viking well, burnouts. That's, that's German, isn't it? That's, yeah, yeah, that's not Swedish. I don't know. That's it. We'll see you guys. See you guys next week. <laughs> Johan. Mm-hmm. <laughs>